Haiti now, once considered a popular holiday destination, has seen its tourist industry dwindle. Political violence, instability and more recently a massive earthquake have contributed to a fall in the number of travellers going there. Well now, Haiti's government is trying to bring them back. Laura Trevelyan went to see how. Blue skies, palm trees and the inviting Caribbean Sea. All that's missing are the tourists. Welcome to hidden Haiti. It's not the usual image of poverty or earthquakes, and it's one Haiti's government wants the world to see. On the beach in Jack Mel, we met Miko Odon. This Haitian who emigrated to Canada has returned to enjoy the surf. I hope to see this country get back on its feet, because when I was a kid, Haiti used to be the most beautiful country in the whole Caribbean. Things deteriorate, deteriorated just too bad. But Haiti would be the perfect place now for the tourist people to invest and come back and get that nation, get back to its feet. To encourage visitors, the tourism ministry is building new earthquake-proof facilities at Jack Mel's beaches. At one of the few hotels here, the owner is hoping the push to promote tourism brings in more guests. Who's your target tourist? Middle age, a bit better educated people probably, because it needs a, a certain level of education to understand what, what is going on as well. And, uh, you know, an openness of, of, of mind to, to you know, just, not just lay on the beach and expect you know, for everything to go right, because changes are... You know, some things will still go wrong here, <laughs> uh, but it, they will go wrong with a smile. Haiti's in the heart of the Caribbean, and the beaches are just as beautiful as those on the other islands. The neighboring Dominican Republic has a thriving tourism industry. But as Haiti's government tries to promote tourism here, it has to overcome the image of Haiti as an unstable country. Tourists who are worried that Haiti is a country plagued by natural disasters, by political violence in the past, what would you say to those tourists? We have a slogan now that it says Haiti experience it, but um, when we translate it in Creole, it's uh, Haiti you have to be there, c'est la poula. Of course, just telling them that Haiti is not only poverty, um, Haiti is not only disaster, Haiti it's, it's much more. So it's, it's the other coin, of, it's, it's the other face of the coin. Tourism would bring much needed jobs and money to this nation. So the hard work is underway to try to change perceptions of Haiti and the hope of a better future.